Merry Christmas, everybody! It's that time of year again. It's time for the Hall of Heroes. What do we have this month? Lumei, the light kung fu girl. Well, we want to know, is she good or is she food? Well, let me answer that question. Let me answer that question by showing you my monster box. This is clearly I was not ready for her. I have no interest in building the light kung fu girl. Not at all prepared. Just kidding, guys. I think she's awesome. She's one of my monsters that I wanted the most for light, dark, four stars. I'm super excited. I had this stuff ready for her for so long, thinking that maybe, maybe good old Jubega summon a light dark one one of these days. So I have been prepared for this for quite a while. I even mentioned that she's one of the ones that I wanted on uh, on stream the other day as well. I was like, oh yeah, hopefully I get a light or dark kung fu girl. I'm ready for either one. I'm ready to build them like immediately. Uh, so super excited. You're like, really? Do you really like her that much? Yes, I really like her that much. Now. There are some pros and cons. Con, she's not really for everywhere. Pro, she does have very flexible, versatile skills. So, let's take a look at her. Let's see what she's good for. Now, mostly, what she's gonna do is attack age reduction, right? Attack age reduction, attack age reduction, attack age reduction. Uh, she's element neutral, she's a light, uh, light unit, so she's element neutral. She's HP based, she's classified as HP, but I, I really, I would build her more as a hybrid. I think she does need to. She needs damage, though. She's, in my opinion, she's she's a hybrid. Um, so anyway, she should be fast and hybrid, fast and hybrid. So we've got the defense break here. Proc into the second skill, the same as Yellen, same second skill as Yellen too. Which is funny. Like people are like, oh no, she's. Some people, most people are like, no, she's really good. Uh, some people are like, no, she's not good. Feed her it is yeah. Like I don't understand. I don't even understand that. Like no, there's people, and you see, you'll see her a lot in R5 now. Now that everyone's, now that everyone has the option to uh, to use her, you'll see her a lot in some of the faster R5 clears. Uh, the the speed runs, the high level players are gonna build her. That some already have her, right? A lot of people that speed run R5 already have her. They have her on uh, Vampire, usually Vampire Revenge, I think. And they have her on the front line, and they just have great overall stats on her, but she is fast, she does a lot of damage, and she's at least tanky enough to survive on the front line. That's generally how they have her built. You could use her in the back line, most of you are probably going to use her in the back line, though, um, if you're using her for R5. And I think that's the place that she shines the most, but she's got uh, attack age reduction here, and she's got attack age reduction here. This is random targets four times. So, there are some places that she's great for. When you're, go when you're going against a single target, all of these are going to hit the same target, like I said in R5. Also, attack age reduction on two of these skills, there's really not too many places that you can't attack age reduce. She's got some pros for, like, for Necropolis, she's got pros and cons for Necropolis, right? She's got multi-hits, 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 and she potentially can revenge and she can proc into a second skill. Kung Fu Girls are actually good for Necropolis, but the attack age reduction, really not gonna be great for you can use her in it but there's gonna be better units for necropolis than her you can use her if if you don't have a necropolis team and you want to build something for necropolis in r5 but there's gonna be better stuff if you want to like seriously like try to buckle down and build a great R uh, necropolis team there's better stuff than than her in uh, necropolis so uh any anything in the game mostly anything in the game can be can be affected by attack age reduction. You can deplete attack ages. Also, that counters violent procs, guys. By, by the way, by the way, if they don't get a turn in the first place, they can't violent proc. So if you're complaining about violent procs, like we all are, if you reduce their attack age completely over and over and over again and keep them from moving, this absorbs, by the way, this absorbs the attack age. Absorbs the attack age. So she basically gets another turn. Four targets, absorbs 25% of the attack bar. She, ba well, she doesn't always get another turn, right? Depending on how much they have. But and then and then she and then she goes again. So really, really great. You could use her everywhere. She can be used. She can be used in giants and dragons as well. She's not going to be that great. She's random. But you could even even if you randomly hit the towers and giants and dragons, like there's no there's no real downside to it. Like okay, well I didn't even hit the giant at all. I hit the towers, but I attack age reduced the towers. And now they don't get to combo with the giant, so he gets his attack buff, defense break, whatever. You can use her. She is a usable unit. She's like a jack of many trades, like a jack of all trades, jack of many trades, master of R5. I'm not just gonna say master of none, but master of R5. 
but not master of she's not the top tier giants dragons necropolis right she's not top tier for that she is she is one of the top tier in my opinion one of the top tier units for r5 though uh think about it this way you use a lot of people most a lot of people will say use xiao lin and hua She's got Hua skills, attack age reduction even more than Hua, right? Because attack age depletion and she gets another, basically fills her up, right? And then she also has the same skills as, not the same skills, but she's going to be like Xiao Lin as well. So she's like a mix between Xiao Lin and Hua, which makes her amazing, amazing, amazing for R5. You're like, okay, R5, 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 what about other places in the game? Okay, uh, arena offense, I wouldn't use her. I mean, you probably could. You probably could use her, you could find a way to use her. But, I wouldn't use it. Arena defense, no. You could probably find a way, like speed lead, Orion, strip, Lume. Like, you could do it. Don't get me wrong, you could do it. But, there's better units. I would build uh, others. She's really not for Arena. For Guild War Guild Siege, she could be potentially great for Kamun, Orion, and uh, and Lume. I saw this, actually. I said this, and then I saw it on... Um, on the good old Reddit post as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this it? Yeah! This one, pretty crazy. 71 wins. This is a, I think it's a German. Uh, 71 wins, 7 losses for this team. Pretty crazy! I mean, would everyone... I think we're gonna see a lot of that, actually. And I mentioned it. I was in the car. I was, uh, I was talking to someone, and I mentioned, I'm like, you know, she's actually gonna be probably good with Kamun and Orion in, uh, in Guild, because you get Strip, and then you get Attack Age Depletion, and then she gets another turn, and then she just nukes down more Element, uh, Neutral, so... It's kind of hard to counter that. Really, as long as Orion strips, it's kind of hard to counter that. The only thing is, like, if Orion doesn't strip, then you should be fine with sh uh, Shield Will, but... But it's it's kind of a hard thing to uh, to counter. Anyway, she's great for that. Uh, for I think we're gonna see a lot of this. A lot of so be prepared to fight this in siege uh, from now on. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? The new labyrinth content is immune to attack age manipulation. So while she has the revenge mechanic that could be good there, I, I she's she's got a lot of negatives as far as those things are concerned. So keep in mind there's there's pros and cons for that. But there's a lot of pros, there's a lot of cons. I think that she's a great unit though. I think she, that she's a great unit. I'm so excited to use her. She's one of the ones that I wanted the most though. So let's see some gameplay of her. Uh, and then let's also see some of the best Lumes that I, on the server, I'll try maybe different servers, I don't know. Let's see some, some good gameplay with her. And let's see some Lume runes. All right, so we're gonna use Baryon's support, uh, support whatever, raid team. And we're gonna get this started, and we're gonna see what she can do, and we're gonna see the runes on her. So, I mean, if Baryon's using her, clearly she must be food if Baryon is using her in R5, right? One of the best Summoner's War players of all time using her in R5, using both of them, actually. All right, so let's see the, uh, let's see the runes on her. She's, like I said, Violent Revenge. She's actually slower than I thought she was going to be for all her... And she's not skilled up with her uh, second skill. We want to see some gameplay th of her, though. We want to see some game... I'm sorry, I should have... I should just check the runes at the end. But we see she is kind of a hybrid. I thought she was going to be faster, to be honest. I thought she was going to be faster. Maybe there's a reason for her being a little on the slower side so she can, uh... So she can revenge things? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Oh, Bar Jubagel's beating you, Barion. Uh-oh. Just RNG. That's RNG. That's RNG. But let's see. Let's see the goodness. Let's see all her attack age reductions. Oh, let's see. Never mind. She's stunned right now. GG. She's stunned. There's two cleansers on that team, though, right? There's Lisa and there's uh, Jameer. What a nice team. You know what? I gotta start using... I need to Devilmon my Jameer. So I can start using uh, Jameer in R5 as well. But yeah, I'm gonna use her. I'm gonna use her in my uh, in my second R5 team, the one that's doing 14% contribution. That's the team that she's going in, and she combos into to the kick, and she gets. She's got a decent amount of contribution. I mean, she's got almost the same contribution as Faye, but Faye's not uh, ignoring defense, right? So, or, or or probably not ignoring defense a whole lot because it's not a. It's not like infinite. All of them ignore defense all the time. It's a small chance to ignore defense. So. Like like we saw. Like we saw. 
uh, attack, crit damage, attack. But look at the look at the different stats on there as well. Not not that bad on the defense, HP and defense. Look at the look at the subs on here. That's why high subs of just just kind of like a hybrid overall. Lots of uh, lots of different stuff on there. But I think you. I mean, really for our five. Oh my God! Look at that Faye. Look at that Faye nonsense at the end. Why didn't she do it at the beginning, Faye? Okay. So she's not Faye. She's not Faye. She's less RNG than Faye. There we go. There we go. Less RNG than Faye. But really nice. Let's see uh, Let's see another one. Let's see another one. Alright, we have kind of a different team. It's uh, it's similar though. We still have the uh, the light Kung Fu Girl. We have both Kung Fu Girls. Now, he's using... This is Huishi, one of my old guildmates. Uh, he's using the Kung Fu Girl in place of where most people would use Hua because speed break and attack age reduction. But what she does is she also has a defense break where Hua has uh, damage over time, right? Uh, which doesn't even work on the, the raid boss anyway. So uh, so uh, Lu Mei has a defense break. So she has two, oh my goodness, Juve, just spit it out, just spit it out. She has two debuffs, what I'm trying to say, she has two debuffs to the R5 boss, whereas Hua only has one. Hua's passive reduces the attack age, but uh, Lu Mei is going to reduce it more with the multi-hits on uh, skill 2 and 3. Unless Hua's passive procs and she gets an additional turn. Uh, or, or additional hit, not additional turn. Additional hit with her uh, with her skill. But let's see, the, uh, let's see the runes on her too. Let's see the runes on this girl as well. But she's, I mean, like she would be used in, in place of Hua. And I know Huishi has Hua, but he chooses to run Lu Mei instead of Hua. So he has actually kind of slow... Not on Vampire. I see her usually with Vampire. Attack for damage attack. Uh, not even the craziest. I feel like she should be a little bit... I feel like she should be a little bit faster though. For all the attack age reduction that she does. I feel like she should be uh, She should be faster than that. I'm actually surprised with both of these. I would build mine faster. I would build mine faster. I would build my... Maybe not, not super crazy. Not like 250 speed. She doesn't need to be 250 speed. But I would build mine uh, faster than that. And I probably build. I probably build her on Vampire Revenge, for uh, for R5. I think that's. I think that's the plan. That's the plan, baby. That's the plan. So let's see. Let's see the contribution that he's got uh, going on right now. After this happens. After this happens. All right. So he's got. Uh, so she's she's doing actually more damage than Xiao Lin on his team. There we go. Currently. What is Yao Lin's, uh, what is Yao Lin's runes? Fatal attack or damage attack, okay. So it's doing, it's doing pretty well though, it's doing pretty well. Except that she's stunned. There we go, fiery, and additional turn, there we go. Additional turn. But I feel like I would go, cause I mean, you don't, I, I don't think that you need to ruin her on violent necessarily, because, like, save your violent runes for other people, because when she gets, she just needs good value runes. Right? So, when she uses her third skill, and it's on cooldown, she has that revenge chance. So you get extra hits in any way. So you don't need... It's not It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I could use it. I could use it. So you get that, um, that extra chance to revenge hit already. You get that free hit in when, when, she's, uh, when, she, when she doesn't have use of her third skill. So there's reason that she's like... Violent is not necessarily the best for her, in in my opinion. All right, third test we have her in childish. Yeah, buddy, back at it again. So he's got actually 150 speed on her total. She's she's got good HP. She's got good defense. I would like see. We don't have a. I wonder if there's a reason that this is the second one we've seen that twist kick is not, uh, is not maxed. I wonder if that's just randomness that twist kick is not maxed, or if it's like. If there's a reason for it, I don't know of any reason that Twist Kick would uh, would not be maxed, but uh, but maybe there is. I don't know. But anyway, I really like the stats on her overall. I think she still I I still would put more speed on her, but I like that she's got she's got decent uh, she's got good attack she's got good she's got low base attack that's the thing. But I still think even though she's an HP based unit and she's got low base attack, it's kind of unfortunate that she's got low base attack. Maybe they'll patch it. Maybe they'll change it in the future, but. Makes her at least uh, somewhat survivable to have uh, her other base stats are pretty good. Like her, um, if we look at her base, what, 10, se uh, 10, 7, 10. 
and 87-30. So she's more survivability than Xiao Lin based on the amount of HP she has. But she loses out on that damage. So Xiao Lin's going to do more damage overall. But uh, Lu Mei is going to have more survivability. So, kind of nice. Kind of nice. Really nice. I really, I really, I can't wait to get her. I can't wait to get her. I can't wait to get her. Oh my god. She's definitely going in my, in my second team, baby. In my second team. Oh. Or actually, you know what? You know what? I think she's going to my first team. I think she's going to my first team. This way I have a secondary leader skill for the second team. This way I have two leader skills in both teams. That would make, that would make more sense. So Hua, I'm going to switch Hua to my second team. And I'm going to put uh, Lu Mei in my first team, in my main team. That would make the most sense. Because a lot of times I just raid with one person. So, just me thinking, thinking out loud like Ed Sheeran. Now we're taking a look at uh, Nech H. Unless that's H Chen and it's backwards. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I just, <laughs> I always wondered. I was like, what's with, how do you pronounce the name? But I think it might be H Chen, but backwards. Like Henry Chen, maybe that's his name. I don't know. I, it's just, it's just thoughts in my head. I'm such a genius anyway, or I'm completely wrong and I'm not a genius at all. Anyway, look at all these light dark units. Clearly no shortage of light dark units, but still chose to build Lume. All these units at their disposal. Clearly very, uh, very fond of the summoning pool, but with all those units at the disposal, they're like, no, I'm building Lume, right? Cause she's such a terrible unit. That's why they had to build her. Uh, so Lume, speed crit damage attack, speed. I like the speed better on this one because she's a control. She's a control unit. She needs that speed. I think and vampire, vampire and value. So this is probably just because there's there are valuable runes. Like ah, you know what? I need these stats on there, and it's it's it is what it is. But just good stats overall. Not like oh, I'm trying to get like that extra squeeze out that extra attack. I would just go for speed and value overall. Like some of these, some of these runes that like you have like crit damage, but it's like, like the high HP on, on, on a crit damage rune. You're like, well, I want attack subs on there. Like this would be great if you just have like good overall stats, but you don't have like, uh, you're like, well, it's not, it's not for Lucian. So, well, I mean, Lucian, you don't even put it. You do sometimes put Lucian on Vampire. But anyway, that's besides the point. Just value runes. Speedy and value runes. Speed crit damage attack is great. I like the speed better than uh, attack slot too. Because she's got low base attack anyway, right? You want the control more than you want that extra little poop of damage. In my opinion. But I think this is, a, uh, I think this is probably my favorite Lume that I've seen so far. All right, for this one, we see 211 base speed. I always like to see that first. Uh, good, well-rounded overall stats, though. We have 20,000 plus HP. We have decent attack. Not crazy crit damage. I'm not sure what build she's on. But, uh... Okay, so I think this is probably in their second R5 team. This is not in their main team. If this was on their main team, I would expect for it to be at least either Vampire or Fatal or Rage. I've seen them on Fatal and Rage before as well. Uh, but I think I would expect it to be like at least some four set if it was on their main R5 team. So it's probably like not the like when they're running R5, they're probably running it with two other people, and then like oh someone left, I have to use a second team. I'll use uh, her with the Lume, but she's probably not their priority. Maybe they're using Faye in their main. Never mind. I don't know what they're using then. I don't know. Well, Faye, like, new meta for Faye anyway. <laughs> I don't know what they're using, but anyway, I like the stats on her overall. She doesn't need to have too crazy, insane uh, attack specifically. Just give her overall solid stats. Overall, very, very nice, well-rounded stats in my opinion. But don't skimp too much on the speed. The accuracy, if you're going to use her for R5, can be a bit low. Because accuracy uh, works different in R5. So you don't need a crazy amount of accuracy for things to land like you do in, uh, in like, PvP. So, anyway guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh... Farm that girl, man. Farm that girl. I'm so excited to get her. Not just because she has boobies, but also because she's going to be a great addition to my monster collection. And I'm going to actually be able to use her. I think I have some decent runes for her already. God, oh, you know, it's, they're never good enough. They're never good enough. Maybe I need some grinds. But I think I have some runes in mind for her. Excited to get her. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys farm this girl. And I will see you as always in the next one.